I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Good morning. Morning, everybody. Rise and shine. Welcome to day 14. Holy moly, only 10 days left. This one's going easier than last year, right? Definitely easier than last year. I just finished editing Vlogmas, waiting for it to upload now so that Connor and I can go get oh. some lunch. Pretty hungry. What about you? Yeah, sorry, let me move this. Okay, now Connor's playing video games. Shocker. Yeah. Good work, Con. I've, I've high fived you like 10 times already this morning. It's noon. Bro. I'm not high fiving you anymore. I've high fived you 10 times this morning. It's noon. <laughs> I'm serious though. Well, we've high fived a lot of times already. Yeah. So. You're saying that as though it's a bad thing. <laughs> Why do we have to high five so often? I guess is my question. So anyway, we're gonna go get lunch in a little bit here as soon as my video's done uploading. And then we are looking at more apartments for Condor today. Or I guess just one more today. And then one yeah. more on Monday, but. We have high hopes for this place. I agree. All right, Condor and I made it out of the house. We love it. It's a very like gray, dreary day out Feels today. Like it's Sunday. Yeah, it does feel like a Sunday. Um, but we decided we wanted bagels, so we are going to use this bagel place that Connor's been talking about yeah. bringing me for so long, and I've never been, so. Because we don't eat breakfast. Yeah, exactly. But very excited for this. It's good shit. Mm -hmm. Please take a look at this bagel I just got. Everything bagel with veggies and cream cheese. Oh my god, it looks so good. Smoked salmon. Connor got a smoked salmon bagel, which Capers, also looks so tomatoes. good. It's Classic. gonna be amazing. And we both got it on everything bagels. So even better. Bagel Absolutely. So finished up our bagels. They were amazing. Told oh, yeah. you. It was great. Yeah. This place is called Marie's Coffee, if anyone is interested in checking it out. Just like a little deli situation. Very East Coast style. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Fully totally loaded. Any kind of bagel you want. Totally. Yeah, they had a cheesy jalapeno bagel, which sounded really that's good what, too. This one G always does. Yeah. 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 Anyway, Connor and I are just popping over to Target now because we need ugly sweaters for an ugly sweater Christmas party we're going to later. Into Target we go. Target. Target, it's popping today. Very busy. Just looking at all our Christmas sweater options. This one's sort of funny from Elf. Let's take a look over here. I'm dreaming of a wine Christmas. It's very soft. So the sweater that we really wanted, unfortunately, isn't here anymore. Very sad. I feel like all the good stuff is just gone. We waited too long. <laughs> now like... The party we're going to is also White Elephant, and so we're looking for a gag gift. We found this Bob Ross I think this is sticker big puzzle potential. Book. There's also big uh, Bob Ross quote okay. um, magnets. We don't make mistakes, we just have happy accidents. That's cute. There's nothing wrong with having a tree as a friend. So we popped into Gulp quickly, but I want to show you guys. We got a pretty good white elephant gift. Pretty it's funny, Joe was mid explaining what a white elephant gift was to me, and she's like, kind of like that Bob Ross puzzle book. We like, go over. I mean, it was perfect. You had to put together some beautiful classic Bob Ross paintings. So it's a bunch of stickers. Yeah. And you can put you. together. So like, here's like what the puzzles look like, and it tells you a little bit about it, and then in the back you find the stickers that go with it. Then put the little puzzle together. Cute. So cute, I really like it. I feel like Johnny's gonna get it. <laughs> it just seems right. Sweet Bob Ross. Okay, we are off now to tour an apartment for Connor. Yeah. We're still on the hunt for the perfect place. <laughs> yes, stocked with snacks. <laughs> Back from our tour, definitely potential at this place. We liked it, so we'll see. We're touring one other place on Monday, and then the decision will be made. So I think the place on Monday is gonna be the place. I think so too. That's There's the feeling that I have. I wanna see what the whole building is like and everything too, because I think that's something to at least consider. Very true. You know. By the way, I noticed a lot of questions last week when we were touring places of people asking, like why we weren't moving in together, if we were planning on moving in together, if we were touring these places for us or just for Connor and whatever. And so 
we aren't moving in together this year. Have um, you met Jill? <laughs> Kidding. First of all, we've only been dating for like just over a year and a half, so we haven't even been together for that yeah. that long. It feels like a lifetime. But... Yeah, it does. In a good way. Sure. But overall, we were just like, we haven't been together for that long. Like, why not take another year of enjoying like the small amount of independence that we have from each other? Yeah. Like, I feel like <laughs> economically, it does not make any sense no. because we spend like five out of seven nights together every week. Yeah. And even like nights we don't spend together, sometimes we still see each other. We're talking mainly on the phone. Exactly, yeah. like I don't, tech for that reason it doesn't make sense, but I don't want that to be a reason why we move in together yeah. is to save money, especially when both of us are in a position where we can afford to continue to live by ourselves. Mm -hmm. I don't want that to like factor in on a pretty like big life. Yeah, like, <laughs> exactly. Life decision. And I don't want to rush it on our relationship yeah. as well. Like why, why put that extra pressure on? When, when it's just things? not needed right now. And I think Jill was really kind about this where I had gone straight from undergrad mm. to law school always having roommates. Yeah. I've literally, this has been the first year I've ever lived alone. Yeah. And it's it's nice. Yeah, like, it is nice for to... sure. And I've gone to experience that for a long time. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like I've gotten you know my fill of that. But I want to make sure that Connor and Jill was very gets understanding to experience about that as that, well, which was really nice for yeah. sure. And then like the biggest sort of thing that came up for me was like I really enjoy living alone. <laughs> Connor, as we just said, also really enjoys living alone. And in theory, when we move in together, like we might just live together forever. That's the goal. Yeah, that's the idea <laughs> yeah, of moving right. it together, I think. <laughs> and so it's like, this could potentially be our last year of ever like so if you can having make it our work own space. And it's fine. We're just gonna hang out here at Cottage for a little while and watch Survivor. Survivor! Yeah. <laughs> Con and I came downstairs to get some snacks. They have a cute little Christmas tree set up. I don't get the blinking, but you know, it's fine. And um, I figured while I'm here, some hot chocolate would be good. Yeah. So it's hot chocolate. <laughs> oh yeah. Very excited. Whoa. <laughs> and then you literally just pick whatever you want in here. <gasps> yes, it is. Okay, so you just want this. Starting Survivor made our popcorn, which is popped perfection. Well Just saying. And of course, our hot chocolates. Hot to cocoa for my hot to cocoa. Nah, <laughs> so Con and I just finished getting ready. I actually put some makeup on so that I don't look like I've been sitting around all day, which is what I've actually been doing. <laughs> and um, I have my ugly Christmas sweater on under this that I picked up from Target. I'll show it to you guys um, when we get back to mine. But we are just popping into mine quickly because I have some alcohol there that we want to bring to the party. We also have to wrap our white elephant gift. But I am very excited for this. It's gonna be so much fun. Look at Khan's shirt. Oh yeah. Greetings from Dunder Mifflin. And they, <laughs> uh, it's like the photo from the Christmas episode. So good. Target. 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 Mine is really great too. Like I said, I'll show it to oh, you guys yeah. when you I get back. I love you. We are off. We wrapped up our gift here, and Connor has the Trulies. Um, you still sort of can't see my sweater, but it has Buddy the Elf on it, and it says, OMG, Santa. And then on the sleeves it says, I know him. <laughs> so, Very classic. Very concerned we watched the movie today. That's right, and um, now we are on our way to this ugly sweater party. Very excited, mm -hmm. it'll be a lot of fun. Yep, drink on the go. <laughs> Hey, for Jill? Oh, uh, yeah. Great. Sorry, Thanks. No, no worries. Okay, let's see. Do I get to look? It's not a good number. Number four. What'd you get? I have no idea. Let's take a look. Ooh, um, eight. It's an eight. Oh, it's an eight. beautiful and then there's a little pips down there she's a little scaredy cat okay yeah that's a good boy Relax. Relax. sit he's 
started to do it before you even said it. He knows when there's a treat involved. Yes. Sit. He does it every time with the treats. I can't believe it. Jax. Sit. <laughs> no Ready? Hey, sit. <gasps> so good. <laughs> You're so good. Back home after the Christmas party, it is 2 a.m. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and um, we've been watching Christmas movies. We have Christmas with the Cranks on right now. Taco Bell just got delivered, so that's pretty exciting. It's a pretty, pretty solid night over here. So that's where we're at. Yeah. <laughs> we got Crunchwrap Supremes. Go to. Oh yeah, and then of course just some, some tacos just to throw in the mix if we're still hungry. <laughs> so I'm all 